the term chiral. Now, the concept here being that organic compounds can exist as mere image forms of one another all the way down at the molecular level. All right, welcome back. In this video, we're going to go over chiral centers, also known as stereocenters. Now, before we begin, look at this. I drew a picture of Walter White. Like, I know I'm not an art major, right? I tried. I know I kind of kind of mess up the neck here and slit the throat, but I try. If this doesn't deserve a like, I don't know what does, right? Yes, yes, no, maybe. Okay, well, let's begin. What are chiral centers? Well, chiral centers are carbon atoms 99.8. 9% of the time. So not always, but most of the time, they are carbon atoms that, f- that have four different groups attached to it. So let's look at this example I drew right here. Here's a carbon. It Attached to it is an OH group, an ethyl group, a methyl group, and a hydrogen. So we have four different groups attached to it. So it is a chiral carbon. We call this a chiral carbon, also known as a stereocenter. There's many different names just to overcomplicate your lives, right? But it's a chiral center or chiral carbon. Now there's some terminology you should know. Now this is gonna be useful for future videos and your future exams, but let's just go over it in this video. It's gonna kinda get like a head start because this is gonna definitely help you. For example, let's say you have sunglasses here. Now I know the sunglasses are not drawn exactly perfectly, but imagine the lenses are perfectly similar. They look identical, okay? So they would be perfect mirror images. So if I were to pop out one of the lenses and put it over the other lens, they would look exactly identical. They would match over, right? When they're on top of each other, they would look exactly similar, perfectly matched up, perfectly aligned. This would be called superimposable, and by default, they will be achiral. So those molecules that would line up perfectly like that are achiral, right, and not chiral, okay? Now let's take a look at this other scenario. Say you have two hands. You have a left hand and a right hand. They are not mirror images. Yes, they look similar. Hopefully you have have all your digits, right? You have your thumb, your index finger, ring finger, middle finger, pinky, right, pinky. You have all the digits there. But they don't look similar, right? Because you have a left-hand version and a right-hand version. So they are not mirror images, right? If I were to take this hand and place it directly over this one, they would not be similar. We call this not superimposable, right? Because you have a left version and a right version. And in organic chemistry, we, we call this an S version and an R version. S standing for sinister or left and R standing for rectus or right. And anything that's not superimposable, they are not mirror images, we we would call this chiral, okay? So imagine you have a twin brother or sister, okay? You're a doctor who prescribes medication and your twin brother or sister uses medication, okay? They're they're, They're drug addicts, right? They look similar to you, but they're doing different stuff, okay? Okay, I know these out of pocket things, forgive me, okay? If you don't believe me, look at this. We have our molecule we went over in the beginning here, right? If you were to take a mirror image of mirror image of it, right? Basically, you know, plant it like a book. You would notice that the ethyl group is on this side, now the methyl group's here, and then the hydrogen's here. Okay? So they are not mirror images. They are not superimposable. They don't, even though they look the same, right? They have the same molecules. But when you put it like on a, as a mirror image, right, you flip it over, they don't look the same. And they are chiral. Okay? Now, a little bonus thing here is a left isomer and a right isomer. So what it, an isomer is essentially is you have a left version and a right version. That's basically what isomer means. Right? Same amount of atoms, same amount of molecules, just or, arranged differently. And when you have a left version and a right version that are not mirror images, we call this enantiomers. That's the famous, that's the, you know, the, the complicated word for it. If you have two things that are not mirror images, but they have the same molecules attached, they are enantiomers. Okay? I know this is a lot of information. Don't you worry if you don't understand this because this will be a future video. But all I want to focus today is chiral centers and chiral carbons. Okay? So that's what the practice problems are. So identify the chiral carbon in this molecule. Now, I know when you take exams, 
you have a, you're pressed for time, right? You don't have unlimited time. So you need some kind of cheat code to do this. So here's the cheat code. Any carbons with double bonds or triple bonds cannot be chiral. Why is this? So let's go over this. Let's do an example here. So say you have here, let's do this, and then say you have a double bond here. Why can this carbon right here and this carbon right here not be double, uh, not be, not double? Why can they not be chiral? So let's, let's draw out what we have here. So we have a group going here, right? This would be a methyl group. We have our double bonded, right? Carbon this way and then here. And then we have a hydrogen sticking out here. Okay, so let's draw that hydrogen here. Okay, so we have this, right? And then it would be the same here. Notice that we only have three groups. We do not have four groups, right? From the carbon here, right? We have one group, two groups, and three groups. The double bond does not count as a group, okay? So we only have three groups. This cannot be chiral because by definition, chiral centers or chiral carbons must have four different groups. This one only has three. That is why. CH3s and CH2s cannot be chiral. Why? Well, let's think about it, right? So we have a carbon here and you have three hydrogens attached to it. So for example, here. These are all the same. They're all hydrogens, right? So you have a carbon here, we have one group going this way, and you have this one, this one, and this one. They're all hydrogens, they're not different. They're the same. They're the same atom. There are three hydrogens, they're the same. That's why, by definition, they cannot be chiral, okay? So using this cheat code, you can basically do anything, any chiral carbon problem here. Identify the chiral carbon here. So automatically, by using our cheat code, we can eliminate this carbon and this carbon. Because remember, we have a double bond here, right? This double, this carbon and this carbon here belongs to the double bond here. So by definition, right, the double bond, this would prevent the carbon from having an additional group. So only have three groups attached, right? I mean, yeah, three groups attached, the hydrogen here, this one, and this one, right? The double bond does not count. So it is not chiral. So this carbon here and this carbon here are not chiral. Nor can this one, because remember, we have a group going this way, a group going this way, and you have a hydrogen here and a hydrogen here. We have two hydrogens, that's bad, right? They're the same. So they cannot be chiral. Same for here and same for here. That's left with this one, right? Is this chiral? Well, what do we have here? Well, we have a, we have a hydrogen coming out of here. So you have a bromine here. So we're gonna put this as like number one. So we have one group. You have a hydrogen, that's a second group. Now, what about this and this? You would think they're the same, right? Cause you have this, group, this one going here and then this one going here, they're the same, right? They are not. You have to look at the entire molecule. So this is what I call the train method, okay? So you're gonna draw like an invisible train that travels down the bonds. So we're gonna like choo-choo motherfucker, right? And we're gonna go down this way. When you get here, we're gonna hit a carbon with a double bond here, okay? If we go down this way, choo-choo, right? We go here, we hit a carbon without a double bond. So they're immediately different. So that does mean we have a one a group here and a group here, four different groups. And this would mean that this carbon right here is indeed different and it is chiral. Four different groups coming out of that carbon, okay? That's the answer. Let's do this one. This is Darvon, an opioid. This opioid has been, is now illegal in US and Europe because it kills people. I mean, all opioids kill people, but people, but this is particularly easy to overdose and it causes heart arrhythmias. So using a cheat code, watch this. I'm gonna show you right now how you can do it super fast. Eliminate, first eliminate all the double bonds. Any carbons with double bonds. So this is gone, 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 this is gone. This is gone, this is gone, 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 eliminated. Okay? Eliminated. That's, I think that's all the double bonds. Now any methyl groups, so CH3s or CH2 are gone as well because they have too many hydrogens. This is gone, this is gone, this is gone, this is gone. 
this is gone, gone, gone. Okay? Yeah, that's all of them. So we are left with this carbon and this carbon. And they are indeed chiral. Just by this process of elimination, elimination they're chiral. If you don't believe me, let's do with the choo-choo motherfucker test, okay? So we have a, a carbon here, right? We go straight down. We hit a methyl group. That's, we're going to designate this as one different group, right? We have a hydrogen coming out of here. That's a second group. We have right, carbon here. We go this way, and then we hit a nitrogen eventually here. Third group. Then we go here. We go this way, and then we're hit with a high oxygen here, another group here, and another group here, right? Too many different groups. So that's obviously four, right? Because it differs from, it differs, this entire piece here differs from the hydrogen here, differs from this, and differs from this. So this is indeed chiral. What about this one right here? Well, let's use uh, the choo choo motherfucker test, that's what I call it. So we go here, we hit an oxygen. Call this group one. We go here, then we go here, and we hit a benzene ring here. So that's, we're gonna call this group two. We go here, from here, we go right here, and we hit a benzene ring. Now, look at this. Here, we immediately hit the benzene ring. Here, if we go this way, we have to go one more space over and hit the benzene ring. So they are indeed different. Even though they look similar, we have an extra carbon in the way. And even though we have an extra carbon in the way, this does make it a different group here, okay? And then, we already said that this is a different group, right? So, right, we already have this as four. So this is indeed a chiral carbon. And that is the answer. These two carbons right here are chiral. This is Mestranol. If you hate kids, you would take this medication. This is birth control. Okay, ignore my dark, my dark humor. Um, all right, use the same method. Watch this, super, super easy now. Get rid of this, 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 get rid of this. They're all double bonds, right? You don't like them. Oh, we have a triple bond here. Get rid of this, get rid of this. Triple bonds are illegal, we don't like them. Now, we'll get rid of all the CH3s and CH2s. CH3, gone. Oh, we have a CH2 here, gone. So anytime, here's a trick. Anytime you see this, like a molecule like this or this, this is, right, and then this would be a CH2. CH2, okay? So anytime you see like that, a V shape, immediately eliminate it. V shape, gone. V shape, gone, 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 gone. Methyl group here, gone. Um, yeah, that looks like it. I think that's it. Um, okay. So, identify all the chiral carbons. Well, what we're left with is this, 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 and this. And believe, watch it. Trust me, they're all they are all chiral. I have a hint here. There, there, there are five groups, right? You didn't see that. There are five groups. There are five chiral carbons. One, two, three, four, five. If you don't trust me, do the choo choo check. The choo, the choo choo. <laughs> it's a mouthful. Okay, whatever. You know what I'm talking about. Okay, so start here. We go this way, this way, this way. And we have a whole ass group here. Okay. Doesn't mean this is one. We have a hydrogen coming out of here. Um, then we have group here, this way, and it branches off to this direction, this direction. All, already different from this one, okay? So that's group two, this is three, and then here we have this one, it goes to a benzene ring. So obviously it's already different, okay? So that's car. that's chiral. Uh, if you don't believe me here, once again, this way, this way, this way, hit the benzene ring, so that's group one. We have a hydrogen coming out of here, so that's like group two. We have go this direction, and then we have to go this way, and then we also go this way as well, so it's a different branch. So that's the number three. I know it looks messy, but if you don't, this is just a just a proof that I, that indeed this method works, okay? And once again, you go this way, this way, and there's a whole different group here, so that'll be four. Anyways, I know it looks messy, but you need to really solve it. So th those are the answers, okay? Isn't, isn't it cool when you have these kind of cheat codes? You can immediately skip everything. Here's a challenge problem. Is this 
molecule chiral. And I want you to really think about it, especially what I said in the beginning. Just because it's not a carbon here, I said 99.9% .9 of the time, not all the time, okay? So immediately let's eliminate everything that's double bond here. So gone, 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 gone. Right, this would be a methyl group, so it's gone. This is gone, this is gone, okay. We are left with a phosphate here, okay? Is this a chiral center? Even though it's not a carbon, that's okay. Chiral centers can exist if they're not, car if they're not carbons. This is the one exception. This is chiral, and that would make it not superimposable. The reason is, and you're probably wondering why, we have a group coming here. We have a benzene ring here. So we're going to designate this as group one. We have a methyl group right here. So this will be group two, right? And then we have this entire thing here. This would be group three. What about group four? Remember, this is not a carbon. So you can't just um, you know, add a hydrogen here. It's not a carbon. You can't do that. This is a phosphate. We have a lone pair here. I want to tell you this, just in case if your professor ever tries to give you a trick question, which they will do, honestly, they could give you this exact same problem or something similar to this. Lone pairs are a different group, okay? This would indeed count, this lone pair right here would indeed count as a different group. This would make it, this phosphate, a chiral center. Okay, and would be not superimposable because remember, chirals, chiral molecules, right? Chiral molecules are not superimposable. Okay, and that is it for this video. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. Until next time, later.